Bonjour and welcome to the Tarot of Claude. Today I'm going to be doing the December readings for the sign of Aries. I hope you're doing well and that you've had a great November month. These are general readings, they will not apply to everybody, so take what applies directly to your situation and discard the rest. If you would like a more comprehensive picture, then feel free to check in on your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. So what are the energies for December for our lovely Aries? I'm going to be putting two energies from my Shaman's Dream Oracle deck. Okay, so your first energy is card 43 and it's called Overflow, Overwhelm and Plenty. So this is a card that talks about all of the opportunities you have around you and choosing wisely, not being um, overwhelmed as it says here. But it is about loads of opportunities and, and things coming your way. I'm going to put that here. And I'm going to just take a card randomly, let's see, this one. Put the deck away. And your second card is card number 13, Dream Thief, Refusal of the Core. Now, this card is talking about not wanting to um, go with the flow. Um, it talks about people sometimes pull a veil in front of you so you can't see um, the opportunities that could really bring you everything that you've ever wished for um, and so they put you in some kind of position where you can't answer the call and so these cards actually they talk to each other don't they I mean you have this telling you there's plenty of opportunities and things around you um, choose wisely make sure that you know you explore everything and this is talking about mm, people standing in your way so that you can't necessarily see um, what it is that um, you should be following, what path. So let's see what the tarot has to say about this. Because, you know, the dream thief is someone who deprives you of your dreams, as in of your abundance. So let's see. And the cards are saying that there's plenty of it around you. Okay, so... At the center of the spread, you have the Wheel of Fortune. I'm going to put it here. Crossing it, Page of Swords. Below you, Seven of Pentacles. Above you, Three of Pentacles. Hope you can see that. Yeah. Behind you, Ten of Pentacles. Ahead of you, Six of Cups. Advice, Two of Pentacles. Environment, Two of Cups. Hopes and Fears, Six of Swords. Final Outcome, Five of Swords. Bottom of the deck is Temperance. Okay, so at the center of your spread, you have the Wheel of Fortune. This is a major arcana, so a big energy on your life path. And this talks about cycle. You know, the wheel is forever turning, so end of a cycle, beginning of a new one. So you are in a um, period of um, changes, cyclic changing. But the change is being blocked by the Page of Swords. Now, pages are news bearers. They can also indicate a new path, but in this spread I'm getting more the news bearer. Swords is to do with um, thoughts, truth, communication, um, that kind of thing. 
Um, and so the Page of Swords can represent any kind of communication, and you can talk about uh, emails, uh, social media, anything like that. And this is blocking the wheel turning. So the change. Subconscious, you have the Seven of Pentacles, so you may not be aware of it, but subconsciously, you are reassessing and reevaluating things. Seven is a number of experience and assessment. Pentacles is to do with your physical world. So it could be home life or work life, job, careers, financial assets. So you are basically um, reevaluating, reassessing something. You know, was it worth it, the um, effort that I put in, into that department, whatever it is that you're looking at? Um, because in the near past, you had the Ten of Pentacles. So Ten is. Um, completion. Pentacles, as I said, physical world. So we're, talk we're talking about a uh, very positive card, the card of legacy. You've worked hard and you can provide abundance for yourself and your family and everyone else. You're very um, stable financially. You're confident, um, you know, really well with your, within your own skin. I don't know why the card is saying that to me today. It normally doesn't, but I will say it. And that was in the near past. And so the 10 being a completion, the wheel has started to turn again because, as I said, it's forever turning. Um, but it's not happening because there's some kind of communication or truth that's stopping progress. Because in your goals and aspiration, you have the Three of Pentacles. Now, the Three of Pentacles, three is the growth number, the beginning of abundance. Um, and it can talk about collaboration with people, um, but what I'm getting here is that you're trying to make something grow. Um, a project, I would think, because that's the vibe I'm getting. I mean, it, it could be about um, feelings as well, but I'm getting not home life, I'm getting work life. So I think that you are um, trying to grow something, a new project. Um, and this is coming on, you know, as your goal because subconsciously you've been reassessing your situation. And so you, you're trying something here, something new. Now in the near future you've got the Six of Cups. Now Six is a number of harmony, you know, overcoming the challenges. And Cups is to do with feelings and emotions. Um, sometimes it talks about um, someone from the past coming back into your life. Um, it could talk about a uh, significant place that you are emotionally attached to and you're reminiscing. So you may be thinking of going back there. Or someone may get in touch with you, someone whom you know you had a relationship with. And it doesn't have to be love, it can be a friendship, it could be a business partner you got, you got on really well with. Um, who was significant in your life. And this, you're going to hear from them probably, you know, coming back into your life. Or, as I said, a place you need to revisit. The advice cards is the Two of Pentacles. It's um, Two is the number of um, choices, the duality, polarity. Um, the Two of Pentacles is really, you know, making a decision, choosing, you know, which one do I do. People say sometimes it's to do with um, uh, shuffling your priorities, you know, which one do I do. I don't hear that from this card, if I'm honest. To me, Two of Pentacles is, uh, you know, do I go left or do I go right? It's a choice to do with your work, um, career, that kind of thing. That's, And th this is the advice, you have to make a choice. You're going to have to make a choice. In the environment, you have another two, which is the Two of Cups. Now, Two of Cups represents relationships, good relationships. And again, it doesn't have to be... A loving relationship and for this read I am not getting any vibe of um, love relationship but it could be a very strong friendship or a very good partnership with somebody and this is in your environment so you may well have someone in the near future coming back um, someone who you had a significant positive relationship with and it's gonna come and you know you're gonna have to make a decision you know do you grow this new project or do you stand still but I think that you're going to hear from them, because at the moment you're not, but you will, and the wheel will turn again. And what happens with the Wheel of Fortune is that it's, it's fated, it's God, the Divine, the Universe, your spirit team, placing you on a new path. 
In your hopes and fears you have the Six of Swords. Now, this is the second six you have. The six, as I said, represents harmony. The Six of Swords is um, moving away, having learned the lessons that you needed to learn. Um, you've grown and, you know, you're taking your swords with you. you. These are lessons that you have learned from. And so I'm, I'm obviously seeing that this is in your hopes sector. You, you want to grow from whatever it is that happened. And you do have that card of overwhelmed and plenty and in the near past you have the Ten of Pentacles. Um, I'd be wary about someone presenting themselves into in your life. You know, that, that person who comes back into your life, I would be wary about them because there is the dream thief. Um, you know, that person who comes in and may stop you from seeing the potential of a new situation that you wish to grow. Um, because you know subconsciously you have to, re you're reassessing and you're not fully um, sure of whether you should go with this person's advice, opinion or whatever, or grow something. Your final outcome is the Five of Swords, and I'm going to um, clarify this, because Five is a number of change and challenges, and Swords is to do with thoughts and um, truth and communication. And the Five of Swords um, can represent um, some kind of a, a victory, but that's not going to be um, appreciated by everybody. Let's just put it this way. It's going to get judged, and people are going to say bad things about it. Um, it's often being seen as a betrayal card. It is not for me because I read like a Tarot de Marseille reader. So it's you know having the de having the determination to do something, and as I said, at all cost it may not be um, appreciated by everybody. The swords cut, but I'm going to clarify this for you. Sorry, I just knocked my camera. I'm sorry about that. Let me leave the bottom card because I looked at it right here, the Templars card. But let me clarify the Five of Swords. Get the Queen of Cups. Now, Queen are um, embody patience. Cups is to do with feelings, emotions, and intuition. And the Queen of Cups is someone who's loving and nurturing. She trusts her gut feel. Um, so she could be either someone who's going to be um, not happy about you making that decision and going the way you want to go making that change basically um, or it could be um, a card of advice saying to you that you need to trust your intuition embody the qualities of this queen and, and know that you know listen to your voice within and be loving and compassionate as you make that decision love yourself she's always represented as holding one cup and she tends to be looking at it obsessively not in this deck but generally speaking that's what she does she's really in touch with what her heart's um, desires and needs and so yeah it could be saying that you know you need to look inside and decide whether you want to make that change or not despite the fact that some people are, are going to be judgmental and not like it now we all have free will it's entirely up to you what you do um, but yes I would be wary about a past relationship, as I said, I'm not feeling love. It could be just um, a friendship or a partnership that you had. And think about, you know, what's in it for them because you're going to have to make a decision. And um, I think you already know you're going to have to make a decision because you're hoping to have learned from your past mistakes. Um, and so we'll see. You may be asked to collaborate. You know you're going to have to collaborate with someone and you're wondering if this is going to be um, 
the right thing for you. Um, you have temperance in the underlying energy. Temperance is uh, patience and moderation. You know, it also talks about compromise. So you may have to, you know, compromise in how you deal with this and use your heart um, in order to help that victory that's, uh, yeah, that's coming at a cost, basically, you know, that, that win um, that's coming at a cost. So being, you know, compromising energy coming in because you do have something here in mind um, something that you want to grow. It's the beginning of a, of a new cycle and you have a lot of opportunities around you. Um, just don't let the dream thief steal this for you. That's the word of advice I, I would give. So I hope you've enjoyed your journey through the cards with me. If the message resonated at all or helped you in any way, do let me know in the comment box below. Um, if you've liked the arts of the oracle cards that I've just used, I've done a unboxing of this um, Shaman's Dream Oracle. I got it from the Nine of Earth Tower subscription box. So if you want to spend some time with me looking at it and seeing what I got in that box, I'm going to leave a card left or right here. And I also do daily tarot readings. If you want to check them out, I'll leave you a card here as well. So thank you so much for choosing to spend some time with me and I hope to see you again very soon. Until next time, au revoir.